most injuries. Man, I tell you. The Bengals have got their share. There's no doubt about it. I just hope with the holiday season coming up here that the football gods dress up like Santa Claus and just take care of the Cincinnati Bengals. No more injuries. Wrap players in bubble wrap. <laughs> take care of them. Can't afford any more injuries or any significance whatsoever against the New England Patriots. So here, let's run down the injury list uh, that the Bengals are, are, are dealing with. Mike Hilton's knee injury, I think he will play against New England. Uh, he had a very, very extensive pregame workout uh, last week down in Tampa. Uh, so I'm sure that looks like he's trending toward being able to rock and roll against, uh, against the New England Patriots uh, if he has a good week of practice and has no setbacks. Jalen Davis, broken thumb. I think he'll probably try to give it a go. He was in, unable to go against Tampa Bay, but I think he'll give it a go against the New England Patriots. Joseph Asai played with that shoulder issue, put a harness on, played, and played well. Tyler Boyd, man, what a gutsy performance. Suck it up time. Five targets, five completions, including a touchdown catch. Blocked on the perimeter for, for running plays. Protected that hand a little bit as he was blocking. He had that dislocation of the middle finger where the top joints just dislocated and bone, bone protruded through the skin. I mean, just a gruesome injury, and that's painful. And this guy's got a pain tolerance. This, this dude is tough. This dude uh, made a statement that his teammates will never forget the way he went out there and played against Tampa Bay with that, uh, with that finger injury. T. Higgins' hamstring's okay. Trent Taylor's hamstring will be okay. Hayden Hurst, calf injury. Is this the week? Uh, probably borderline. Will he be able to go? Uh, as, as the week goes on, we'll see. We'll see what happens with, with Hayden Hurst. But he, he's getting there, and his rehab has been very, very timely on, on a good end. I mean, he's on the, on the shorter end of timeout with the calf injury that he had. There's calf injuries, and then there's other calf injuries, and uh, he had a significant one. My understanding is Sam Hubbard's is not as significant as the one that Hayden Hurst uh, dealt with and Tupau dealt with. We'll see. We'll see if that's the case. But it, these these injuries, these calf injuries now, they're dicey. Again, there's a big calf muscle and two smaller ones. If you mess with the big one, it's obviously a bigger problem than the two smaller ones. And if you are close to being able to play, you might want to give it another week to make sure you're able to play. And knowing Sam Hubbard, he wants to play yesterday. This guy doesn't want to miss any time. Cam Taylor Britt, neck neck problem, neck injury. Uh, is it is it a, a pinched nerve or is it a stinger? There's a distinction. There's a difference between the two. The pinched nerve is a little bit more to deal with than the stinger. We'll see if Cam D Taylor Britt can make the dance or not. So the Bengals are beating up a little bit. Uh, but I think they're going to start. They're starting to get players back, which will be a, a good situation as they uh, as they get ready to take on the, the Patriots and then the final two games of the regular season uh, against the Buffalo Bills and the Baltimore Ravens at home. Buffalo Monday Night Football. Ravens could be a nationally televised game. That could be Sunday night. So <clears throat> you want all hands on deck as the Bengals finish the season, get ready for the playoffs. Get guys back from injury. Don't lose any more to injury. They have been fortunate, though, in the fact that injuries have not led to many players being placed on injury reserve. You know, it's one thing to lose a player for two, three, four weeks, but another thing to lose a player for the season, like the Bouzier, huge, massive injury. This guy's going to cover corners in the National Football League. It would be nice to have him uh, down the stretch and into the playoffs, but that's not going to be the case. The good news is, Others have stepped up, and others continue to step up, and others continue to expand their roles. At First Star Logistics, we're a very strict company that really puts the pressure on our employees. <laughs> Breaks? What are those? That's what I'm talking about, Icky. Get the body right, then the mind's right, you know? Yeah. Gotta get that body right. That's right. right. Yes, sir. <laughs> Become a star with a chance to earn the highest commission percentages in the industry as a freight broker agent. Check out firststarlogistics.com.